Hello, my name is Jim Flegging, Managing Director of the Chertoff Group and co-head of our advisory business. You know, we have been focused on this continuous monitoring or, or CDM framework for several years, and we're really excited about it because of this overall shift that we think it represents, and a shift from, one, the government being a follower, to two, the government being a leader. And I think a thought leader and one that is really building collaboration with the different stakeholders, industry and research and others in the science and technology community. The second piece is the change it represents from a focus on compliant, these periodic measurements, to a focus on risk management of continuously assessing your organization or your agency against those things that matter most from a cyber perspective. And we realized that what would really be helpful is to create a dialogue to bring all the stakeholders together, the vendor community, the people doing the implementation, and of course those practitioners who have to deal with all this on a day-to-day -day basis, and, and along with even the researchers and the investors, a real honest dialogue. Where are we today? Where do we need to go in the future? What are the cultural obstacles? What are the technology obstacles? What do we need to do to present to create real change? We know the threat's there, and we know that the same old, same old isn't going to get us there. And that's really what we hope to do, and we expect to do, with the Chertoff Group Security Series. This is the first event. This one is focused for the federal government and what does CDM mean for the federal government. We actually believe this framework has great relevancy for critical industry. So you'll see over the next year and a half as we're going to begin to focus on what does CDM mean as far as moving to a risk-based framework for those of you in finance and oil and gas, energy, and other critical segments. And lastly, what I'd like to say is uh, we'd welcome your feedback. So please feel free to get to me through our website or individually. We'd love to hear your views on how we can make this more effective. Thanks. The purpose of CDM is to give you a continuous, ongoing assessment and awareness of the security of your network. The old model was kind of periodically coming in and auditing and checking, but without knowing what was happening in the intervals between the audits. The new approach is to be constantly aware, measuring and monitoring so you can evaluate your security on an ongoing basis. Everybody has to accept the fact that you will have intrusions. Um, there's no perimeter in the world today if you're connected to the network that will protect you fully. So you need to respond, and, and in our view, the way to respond is to begin to watch your assets carefully, watch the right assets, watch those configurations, and make sure that you can identify where you've got problems. Then you know where you have to begin to respond and how serious the issues are. It sounds a little ominous, doesn't it? I mean, it, it sounds like continuous monitoring. That sounds like full-time work. To be continuous, I guess it is. But actually, if done well, it increases efficiencies. Continuous monitoring really only gets you part of the way and, uh, and we're very much impressed with the way the Department of Homeland Security has expanded the definition and really focused the issue so much more effectively by looking at diagnostics and monitoring and, and obviously doing that in a continuous framework. But diagnostics really starts with, with being able to understand what's going on and to examine what's happening and then to respond. So when you say diagnostics, that's identifying what the problems are. Mitigation is actually beginning to respond quickly. And at the end of the day, you need to be able to understand what's happening to your networks and respond before damage becomes unacceptably grave. You can't defend all things equally at all times. You've got to pick your spots as to where you need your greatest effort. I think people within the government will still understand uh, that, it, that what we're talking about is looking at our infrastructure, the visibility into our infrastructure. And the people outside of government are going to, I think, will probably continue to, uh, to look at this as the continuous monitoring programs that's well known in the private sector. In the past, the traditional method was CNA, security and accreditation. Um, at best, those were formed once every three years. And you can imagine how the system state changes over time. Uh, it was not real time, it was not continuous. Now, with the advantage of continuous monitoring, this is a continual process. Via automation, the system state is current, it doesn't drift over time, and the agency's benefit, of course, is greater confidence in their mission, greater confidence that their system state is not compromised, and, and certainly better protection.